Hey guys, welcome back. In this final lesson for this series, we'll be focusing on the very basics of ActionScript. ActionScript is the programming language that Flash uses. It's used to create all those interactive elements that you see on the internet. It's used to create rich media uh, applications for desktop computers, for mobile devices, and so on. So basically, it's used to create interactive elements. In this lesson, we'll be going over some very, very basic commands just to get you started. So don't expect to be creating a game or anything in this lesson. It's just the very basics. And then finally, I'll show you guys what the ActionScript Snippets panel can do for you. It's a new introduction to Flash CS5, and I think it'll help you learn ActionScript and get going with it. So to begin, let's download the sample file for this lesson. I've included it in the details box, so just please click on the link to download it. And once you do that, let's open it up in Flash. So just go to File, Open, locate the ActionScript file that I've included, and just choose Open. What we have here is a very simple animation. It's nothing special, but I think it will help us when demonstrating the basics of ActionScript. So to start, I would like you to test the movie. So go to Control, Test Movie, Test. Here you'll see it's just a simple bouncing ball going from left to right. Now, one thing about Flash is the default function for an animation is that it will repeat once Flash hits the end of the timeline, it will start over and just keep playing over and over in your SWF file. And that's just how it's always been. Well, we can control this with a little bit of action script. So let's see how this is all done. First, let's make a new layer. It's very important to keep your action script organized just as if it were an object or a drawing. So come down here to your timeline and click the new layer button. And let's name the layer actions. That way we know what it is. Now we want the film or the animation to stop at the end of the timeline on frame 40. So let's insert a keyframe at frame 40 so we can put our action script in it. So right click on your new layer on frame 40 and choose insert keyframe. Now in order to input action script we need to bring up the actions panel. So go to window actions or you can hit F9 if you choose to. Here we have a panel in which we can input the code. Now at first glance, this probably looks really confusing. You have all of this stuff here on the left. Then you have a blank slate right in the middle here to start typing. And you have all this stuff here on top. We'll go through everything here so that you know what's going on before you dive right in here and start programming. The first thing you might notice is if you click on this area and you try to type, you'll notice that you can't, or maybe you can. It depends on the settings you have currently in Flash. If you can't type anything out, it's because you have the um, built-in scripts assist button checked. Basically, this script assist button allows you to take it one step at a time. It only allows you to browse commands, add them through this list, then go through and type in very basic information so that you know you don't make as many mistakes, which might be great for beginners. However, when you look at this list, it might be kind of confusing in itself of, as to where to even begin. You know, you have all this stuff here. So if you turn that off, you'll then have the ability to type just however you want. 
So that's one thing to keep in mind. Next, we have the add button, which I showed you. I click that, it kind of just gives you, you know, a list of scripts that you can just add without typing. We have the search function here, which is currently grayed out, but it will allow you to, um, let's say you have a whole bunch of text, you have a whole bunch of commands, and you need to search out and replace a certain command or a certain word. That's what you would use the search function for. You would type out the word, you could replace it, or you could just find it, depending on what your goal is. The check mark here will allow you to check your syntax and make sure that you don't have any mistakes in your code. And finally, you even have a debug option here, so you can go through and do some debugging if you have some broken code. But anyway, once we have all this knowledge, we can sort of just dive in here and start typing. Now, on frame 40, I want the movie to stop. So I got to type a command here at frame 40 to tell Flash to quit playing. So this command is pretty simple. And it's simply stop with two parentheses. So type out stop. And if you can't type, make sure you have your script assist button deselected. But type out stop and then two parentheses just like that. And that is all you should have to do. And if you need to check, you can check your syntax. And when you do this, you get no errors, meaning that you are good to go. Now, if you ever play your movie and you are looking for, you know, output from the action script panel, your output panel right down here next to your timeline will provide that. So if there is an error, it will provide it through the output panel. So there's something to keep in mind. Okay, so let's go ahead now and test this movie and see what happens. So let's go to control, test movie, test. And as you can see, it played and stopped. It no longer loops. And that is all done through ActionScript. Now again, this is a very, very simple command. It's very simple. ActionScript can get quite complicated. In fact, let's um, show you some examples of different ActionScript types.